Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Uh, Valentine's Day right around the corner. And uh, a great idea would maybe be to stop into Better as Jewelers. Go talk to Amanda and find out what are some great gift ideas um, for that loved one in your life. You brought in some great pieces today. Just a small sample, Amanda, right? Just a little bit of what you have to offer. Uh, just a very small sample, some of my personal favorite pieces. So these are, so I, it must be kind of neat being in the jewelry business. You're drawn to something. Denise is drawn to something. You all have these special pieces that you love so much. Yes. So you were able to hand select the ones that that have a special place in your heart, possibly. They, they really stood out to me, especially for Valentine's Day. Okay. Uh, the colors, the shapes, just the sentiment behind each of them. And so obviously Valentine's Day, it's about love. Is there one particular piece of jewelry um, that's tried and true year over year? Is it a color of a stone? Is it a necklace? Is it earrings? What is it about Valentine's that that people initially think of when they think of Valentine's, what do they think of for jewelry? Well, definitely the pinks and the reds and the purple stones are very popular for Valentine's Day. They kind of reflect that, that warmth, that love, that passion. Also, necklaces are probably the number one go-to. Okay. Yes, okay. definitely. And you brought in one piece, you were telling me off camera, obviously cute little hearts. Hearts are, are you know, they're the, kind of the symbol of love for Valentine's Day. Tell mm -hmm. us about this piece first. These are just unbelievable little necklaces. I have one of them on right now, actually. Oh, look at you. So it's not, yes. these are, it's not, they don't come as a set. You get you either have the gold or the silver. We have rose gold, white gold, yellow gold, and they're just so dainty and fun. They can be worn every day, all year round, and it's just that perfect little memory to remember your loved one by every day. And you have these available, obviously. Oh yes, uh, they're in a really, really great price point too. So kind of roughly, what's that price point? Uh, about, about, uh, I think they start at six hundred dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that's actually All diamonds, a price point. diamonds, gold. I'll take two of those, please. Yes, exactly. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> of course you will. Moving our, so is this a particular designer or no that you want to focus on? Uh, it ju they're Betteridge pieces Betteridge here. pieces, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving our way across now. This is also a really fun necklace here. It actually has a heart-shaped diamond in the very top right there. And so, again, reflecting that love and that those good feelings of Valentine's Day. And you can, that's a part of you all the time. You can wear these pieces all the time. Exactly, that's yes. That's the nice thing about them. They're not too large. They're not too specific in terms of a design. They're tried and true standards for sure. Exactly. Okay. And moving on to definitely one of my very favorite pieces by one of my very favorite I'm gonna designers. I'm going to pick it. Don't tell me. I'm going to pick it. I would go with that one. Well, that one this is. This one. That one's gorgeous. This is a Cartier orchid ring here, but my favorite is this one here. It's uh, by the designer Robert Prokop, and they are, it has a, a cushion cut light blue diamond center, and it's flanked by natural pink diamonds in a heart shape. Look at, you can see it shining on camera. Oh. See how that thing just reflects? Look at that. It is a truly spectacular piece. Okay. That'd be one lucky lady to get that. <laughs> it totally would, for, for sure. Okay, so once again, the heart necklaces, these are obviously a tried and true piece. Mm -hmm. Price point is perfect, around $600. And then as we make our way across, what are we getting into now with this necklace, this jewelry? Well, we have a great selection of diamond tennis bracelets. Those are really a staple in any girl's wardrobe, I'd say, jewelry-wise. Why, oh, why do they call it a tennis bracelet? You know, I'm not actually sure about that because one. Because you can wear it while you're playing tennis. There you go. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It just, it's loose, it fits really nicely. Okay. Great pieces. And this, of course, with the rubies, with the red, you know, representing love, that passion. Would that be a tennis necklace? Not really, but kind <laughs> of, a little bit, kind of, right? It has the sort of same style. And that is beautiful, too, with the rubies and the diamonds. That's wonderful. Yes. And then we'll go over to this ring here on the left. And we'll that is front. an incredible ruby there. It is completely unheat treated, great size, perfect ruby color. When you say untreated, yeah, you can totally see the red, the red, untreated red, that, that, that I would say it's more of like an organic red. It's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, it glows with, from within, like, like your love would. There you go. <laughs> Stop by Betteridge Jewelers. They're located right behind the ice rink. At Solaris, mm -hmm. Valentine's, or any other day of the year to find out some of see some of the most beautiful jewelry you're gonna find on the planet. Mickey has a look at your weather forecast coming up next.